hello there thank you for watching this and in this video i will cover how to connect your google analytic with flame forms and track the event so in this case uh, you'll find uh, the documentation in here and here you will you need to follow uh, the below steps and the main uh, configuration script is here uh, you need uh, three variables uh, two is required one is optional in here and the uh, one trigger and two tags so in this video i will cover the step by step guide to implementing the gfo with flow and frost so in this case uh, you need the analytics setups and also the google tag manager setup so i'm just uh, set up the google tag manager and i'm mean just give it a name call this and select my country and just paste my apps and urls and this is the app and just create you need to accept the terms and saves after that it's loading and configuring your gdm here so in this case you need to paste this code in your website head and the body section so in this case i'm just copy the head tags and go to my websites and this is my websites just go to the file editor I will find this option from here appearance themes file editor and you need to find the header dot php file and paste uh, the code after end of the body as you can see that I have already passed it from another so I'm just cut it and pass my new one as you can see that my Google tag manager script is in here make sure that you have passed this after the end of the head tag and uh, another one is after the start of the uh, body tag as you can see that so in this case I'm just cutting cut my previous one and passed it the new one and update the file As you can see that uh, the GTM tag in here and here is the same. You need to make sure this. And after that, and go to the docs and follow the first steps, which is says the creating flame from variable. So in this case, uh, this is the variable uh, we need to create. First uh, one is the flame from ID okay so i'm just copy this and go to the variables section and edit uh, user defined variable which is shown in here okay so you need to edit the user defined variable so i'm just adding an user defined variable and give it a name from id and select the data layer variables so clicking here i will find the data layers variables and data layers variable name so in this case you need to copy the variable name and paste it here and make sure the version is selected is true as you can see the version is true so i'm just save this and this is the first variable and you need to create another variable and at the same way just copy the title go to the tag manager and add give it a name and data layer variable in this time just uh, name it a even action okay just give it a name and make sure the version is 2 
and everything is same just say after that you can create another variable which is optional but in this case uh, I will create this variable uh, this variable name is from from me as you can see that so in here we need three variables okay two is data layer one is javascript so i'm just adding this variable here so go to here and use the different variables give it a name fluent from name okay just give it a name fluent from name Make sure you have entered everything as per our documentation. So, and then this is the JavaScript variable. So, you need to select the JavaScript variable. Also, you need to select the document dot title, or you need to write the document dot title. Okay, let's. Uh, write it and then save this okay so my variable is created successfully and then i'm going to the next steps which is creating from from trigger so in this case uh we need to create a trigger called this title here so i'm just copying a trigger and just go to the trigger section and add a new trigger give it a name and event types custom event and the event name this so in this case i'm uh, selecting the event type is custom events and give it a name from from activities after that you need to select this option all custom events and saves so my trigger is created successfully and then uh, creating the form from tags so in this case uh, the first tags is chtml push okay so i'm going going to the tag section and create i just give it a title chtml same as for the documentation our event is custom html so in this case i'm selecting custom html and paste the below code in here so copy everything from here and paste in here after that just selecting the trigger as all page so i'm just trigger and all page in here and save this settings as you can see that my text is already been saved and after that we need another tag called fluent from gfo so copy this and go to the tag new tag give it a name and this time you need to select gfo configuration gfo configuration and then you need to paste the measurement id so in this case you need to set up your analytics and go to the streams as you have and then this is my website and this is my stream and this is my stream id i'm just copy the stream id and paste it here as you can see that i also the step by step guide how you can uh, create a stream and uh, copy the stream id uh, you'll find in the below okay so in this case i'm just measurement id and then i'm just set the field set value so go to the tag again and in here you'll find the field sets and in the five rows first row is 
debug mode and this is true as you can see that this is true and the second row i'm just adding those five row please wait after adding this we just come back and here as you can see that uh, i have added the five fields at value and just one thing uh just know that and uh, I, I would like to inform you that uh, in this case event type you don't need to just uh copy this from here you, you can select from here this is the event and actually uh, everything is same and after that you need to uh, select the trigger so in this to select the trigger you will find the flow and forms activity section as you can see in here so just set this okay so my two tags is already added and then ready to submit the google tag manager and then uh, just make sure that you have uh, everything is uh, set up successfully and then i'm just uh, creating a form and preview it and whether the data is showing or not so in this case i'm going to my website so, uh, going to my website i'm just uh, publish this or submit this as you can see that this is uh, showing here as i added tag trio and variables and publish you can click continue so it's loading and it seems my uh, everything is uh, set up successfully as you can see that two triggers one triggers two tags and the variables is counted in here so i'm just close it and going to my websites as you can see that uh, this is my website and here i'm just checking the gtm tag is configured or the place correctly or not so to do this just view page source and in here you'll find your gtm tag uh, this this is the here just copy this and here and just search it as you can see that the gtm tag is placed successfully okay then uh you need to create a forms here i am already creating a form this is called contact form just make a preview as you can see this form is here and also i am just uh, placing it on a page so i'm going to my page and just filter it by date and here this is the page i am creating for this form and i'm just copy this page as you can see that this analytic is successfully in here so also i'm just going to my gtm and preview this and make sure if you have any ad blocker uh, th this might be problem or this might cause uh, in this case i'm just uh, of this for now and this is the page i have and connect as you can see that uh, the gtm is uh, configured correctly and here and also it's shown in here to connect it okay so this uh, is load successfully and just um, fill up uh, any details and submit the form and uh, it's submitted successfully as you can see that the all events is fired successfully so the chtml and push uh, flow from g4 tag and also the activities in here so uh, after that uh, i'm going to my analytics dashboard as you can see that uh, in here uh, the real-time users it's showing and also the uh, general forms page title is showing here and if i just uh, going to the page view as you can see that and it's showing the actual events events type form id and also the form name and everything is perfectly showing in here the form id is 219 okay so if i just uh, going to this editor page you can see that the form id is 219 okay so everything is placed successfully for general 
from 